Okay, I'm going to show you real quickly how I varnish a painting. This is a very small painting, which is quick and easy. It's a little more difficult on large paintings, but uh, I still use the same process. I just break it down. You know, I might do half, uh, uh, the top half first and the bottom half second, uh, and then start dragging it that way. What I use is this Utrecht brush. It's a squirrel mop, and it says on here it's a, U a one inch Utrecht number 743 finest squirrel mix. And you see it's a big round brush, you turn it sideways and it's not quite as thick. And it's very soft, so it, it works very, uh, very nicely. Make sure the painting is dry before you start. And I'm going to uh, varnish today with uh, Gamelin's uh, Gambar Gloss. And I'm using the gloss on this one because I want you to really see how it affects. Primarily what it does is bring back the, uh, the dark areas. But I just, you know, wet the brush enough so that it... Uh, it flows on nicely. You might have to, to wet it twice. You don't want to put too much on. And that's all you'll need for the entire painting. And then I'm back and forth several times. But you see how it really wakes those dark shadow passages up. And I'll go back and forth just a couple times so that it sets into those crevices and those textural areas. And uh, and that's all, uh, all it takes. Now I'll leave this sitting out on my back patio for, you know, 30 minutes an hour, and it'll be dry to the, t it'll actually be dry to the touch in minutes, but um, I let it sit out here so it doesn't stink up my studio. And that's it. Hi, my name is Matt Smith. One of the primary goals of this online course is to give folks the opportunity to study with me for a full year at their convenience on their own time frame. It's not always easy to block out a week or more time to travel to a distant location for the purpose of studying with an artist of choice. Allowing oneself to study as their schedule permits creates a more relaxed atmosphere, which in turn opens the mind to learning. This is an opportunity I really wish I had in my early years. The course begins with an introductory module covering the basic consideration of tools, equipment, studio arrangement, lighting, the importance of indoor versus outdoor time, photography as a tool, and much more. This first module will set the tone for the remaining modules, which will dive more deeply into the basics of drawing, value, design, and color. In the remaining four modules, I'll discuss why these basics are important, how to identify them, and in return, how to use them not only to analyze your chosen subject, but how to use them to create a blueprint for building your painting. It is so important to train your mind to see and think as an artist rather than someone who just documents what's in front of them. The way to do this is by understanding these fundamentals and applying them to the subject at hand. In other words, see by way of the basics, line, shape, value, etc., rather than all the physical components that make up the finished scene, like twigs, pebbles, and leaves. I'll then reinforce these concepts with both unedited visuals, photographs, and finished paintings that support the idea at hand. I'll then complete a demo of a subject that represents the particular fundamental addressed in each module. I'll also include a variety of photographic images for student use. Participants will also have access to me throughout the year by way of a private Facebook group. You'll be able to contact me with questions related to areas of difficulty or whatever you may be working on and want to discuss. This one-on-one -on -one time is where we can really fine-tune areas of interest for you. Thank you, and I really hope you can join me.